Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this video series. So for the second video we will do pretty much the same thing as in the first one. We're just going to do the setup but for uh, Linux users this time. So if you're on Windows feel free to skip this video and go to the next one. Okay, this is going to be very very short. Um, for all of you Linux users uh, I'm going to use Ubuntu here but it should work for other Debian based systems as well and it shouldn't be uh, different for other distros. If you're using a Mac then um, I would say the, the same com um, you could check up the tutorial guide because unfortunately I cannot do a, a tutorial on Mac since I don't really have a, a MacBook Anyway, let's get started. Um, make sure you open the terminal you have installed on your Linux machine. I'm using this terminator, but any terminal uh, should work fine. If you have your terminal open, just do a quick check and list all the um, directories and files at the current directory where you're at. Okay. So, for Linux it should be much much easier than for Windows since it already comes with Python 3 uh, shipped. Uh, the only issue is that you have to make sure to specify the version of Python you want to use since in Linux uh, Python 2 and Python 3 live side by side. We will be using only Python 3 for this video course. So, to check if you already have Python 3 installed just type in Python 3 and you should jump into the interpreter. As you can see I have Python 3.7 here but uh, if you have 3.6 and above then it should work fine. Okay, just get out of the Python interpreter. So uh, if you find this, if you find Python 3 here then you're already fine. If you don't have Python 3 installed which is very unlikely but still you should just type in this command sudo apt apt get to, to make sure for all uh, for all the versions of Ubuntu Python 3 okay and then you just have to hit enter I'm not going to execute this since I already have Python 3 installed but you make sure uh, to check before okay so um, that's it for Python 3 also um, git also comes installed with linux so to check also for git just type in git dash dash version and i already have it installed so that's pretty much it for git but if you still don't have it just type in again sudo apt dash get git and uh, this command should install git for you I'm not going to execute that right now. Um, so that's pretty much all for Git and for Python 3, which are our base requirements. As for the code editor on Linux, I, I still would suggest VS Code. So to get VS Code, there are multiple ways. You can install it um, as a Debian package. You can use the, the snap packages, which I actually prefer. So, to install VS Code on Linux, you have to type in the command snap install code dash dash classic. Make sure to, to type it just like this. And if you hit enter, it will ask for the password. And it will start installing it. Since I already have it installed, it's, um, it just gives me uh, the v VS Code version I, I have. So, now we have Python 3, we have Git, and we have um, VS Code for writing our code in. So, let's go and get started with uh, creating the folder for our project. So, again, on Linux you can navigate to whichever folder you want to um, you can create files and folders from the terminal. I'm going to make this project on my desktop, so just go to CD Desktop. 
if uh, just to check you can use pwd which means print working directory and it will show um, the current path where you're at on your machine i'm just going to clear the screen here with clear okay so here i'm going to make a folder where i'm saving every file i need for the project just type in make dir make directory mkdir and i'm going to call this django girls okay go in this folder we just created again using the command cd change directory okay um now as i did in the windows uh, setup as well we're going to create a virtual environment a virtual environment is like a confined python environment environment where you can install uh, the libraries you need for that project to do this i'm going to use um, python 3 vmv tool to create virtual environments um, first make sure to so you have it installed so just to make sure you have the tool to create virtual environment just type in sudo py sudo apt get install python 3 dash vmv okay make sure to type this correctly and hit enter I already have Python 3 VMV installed, so, but for you it might be different. Okay, now I'm going to create the virtual environment inside my Django Girls folder. So, I'm going to type in Python 3. Always remember to use uh, Python 3 on Linux, also on Mac, so uh, you run always Python 3 and it's not confused with Python, which usually stands for, for Python 2.7. Dash dash m sorry and i'm going to call this my vmv okay now it's going to create my virtual environment just to check if it has already created you can print the command ls which means for uh, which means list to, to see all the directories and files in your folder and you already see my VMV there. Now, to activate the virtual environment, uh, you, you as, as in Windows, you always have to make sure you have your virtual environment activated. The command is a bit slightly different from Windows, but it's basically the, main, um, the same idea. So you type in source, the path to the virtual environment, which in my case, since I am already inside the folder where I have my virtual environment, I just have to type in the name of the folder, my VMV, bin, and activate. Okay, as you can see, now I have my virtual environment activated, and you can check it by looking to the side if you have the name of the virtual environment inside the parentheses. Okay, great. Now we have to create a file with the requirements for this project which will be the Django 2.2 ver version to create a requirements file just in Linux you can use touch the command to create a text file so I'm just going to type in touch requirements dot text okay great you can also check, like in Windows, you can use File Explorer to see everything we have already done. Just go to Desktop, you see the folder Jungle Curls here, and here is the requirements.txt. Okay, open this file with whichever uh, text editor, I'm using gedit, just for this small thing. I'm just going to type in Django 2.2.4. Okay, so in this requirements file, you just have to specify every um, requirement you have for this project. At the moment, you only need Django. Um, if you needed other uh, packages or libraries, you just uh, make a new row and write the name of the library and the version you need. For now, this is it. Just uh, click Save or Control S, whichever you feel uh, more comfortable with and you can close this file right now okay now 
again make sure that you are in the virtual environment first thing I like to do before installing the requirements is to make sure that uh, pip is upgraded now pip is a tool for Python to install uh, all external packages that you need it's pretty pretty uh, straightforward and easy to use so first I'm going to upgrade pip just type in pip pip, pip install dash dash upgrade pip make sure to write this correctly click enter and okay so it already installed the latest version of pip as you can see is 19.3.1 okay now I'm going to use pip again to install the requirements just type in pip install dash r requirements dot text so what pip does is goes into the requirements file and gets the list of all the requirements and installs them recursively that's why we use this flag dash r here in our case it will just install Django so let's go and hit enter okay so it's getting Django and since Django has also some other packages as prerequisites it's also getting those automatically okay now it's finished so we have uh, Python and Django installed and we are ready to get started with our project okay so that's pretty much it for this video feel free to um, explore a little bit on Linux the command line I'm going to teach you a few more commands in the next videos but for now this is it okay thank you for watching and um, Please make sure to subscribe and also check out my Twitter and my Instagram. I'm also putting the link to the Django Girls tutorial down below. And see you in the next one. Bye bye.